My name is Daniel Corey. Um, this is my husband, Chris, and this is our son, Micah. And we came together um, as separate pieces and then actually became a whole as a family. Growing up, we've all had different types of childhoods. My husband and myself, um, my particular childhood wasn't positive. So Christmas wasn't um, a nationally celebrated thing. I remember being so underprivileged without a whole lot of money that my sister and I, no lie, we dragged a real live tree through the snow down a hill during Christmas Eve. And it was because we wanted the spirit of Christmas. We knew who Christ was to us. So when Micah came along, it was like, I didn't want him to experience that. But then some of those lack of tradition buildings kind of bled through, which is why, you know, he believes oh, Christmas decorations should only be put up a week before. You know what I'm saying? Released in December, not <clears throat> after <Thanksgiving>. Halloween. <laughs> I have a story too, but I've got a lot of alcoholics like on both sides of my family. And truth be told, there's a lot of rage in both sides. At the time I was living with my parents and my parents had already gone through a divorce. We always wanted to have a sense of family and that was just not there. There was always some kind of drama going on. So it made, it forced me as I got older to look to Christ, to look to someone greater than me, to look to someone who genuinely knew everything about me and loved me for who I am, whether I changed or not. So it makes me realize ultimately like he really is the greatest gift. The first thing I hear about when, you know, when you hear the word peace, is something that comes to you that is generated from the from the heart because when everything is going wrong you can get that peace that comes directly from god because through my childhood it was it was bad i mean five or six different foster homes and that's where god came in when i was a teenager and then through all the hardships of growing up and the christmases only a day before god was like I've got you, and because I have you, this is the peace you hold on to. When I think of peace, I think that's the result of knowing that I'm loved by him. It's so tempting to kind of get swallowed up in the problem and think, where is God? When all along, it's kind of like, where was I? Where was my focus? Because in reality, there was never a time where he didn't come through. You can't help but come back and relax, knowing that there's somebody greater than me who's always got my best interest in mind. Before I met Chris, um, there there was a particular uh, ugly time where things got so bad that we ended up homeless. We spent three months in a homeless shelter. It was God's peace that led us to an off the way apartment complex, still didn't have any money, but it was the peace and the grace of God that allowed us to get a place to stay even though there was no furniture in it. And then that same piece had me, you know, at the right place of a furniture store at the right time to the point where this woman came up to me and literally said, God told me to buy you a bed. I'm like, what? She was like, okay, does, does your son need a bed? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. And so they delivered two beds. And I was just like, at the lowest point of where you are in life, God is there. And that wash of peace is really strong when you know you're at the right place, at the right time, even when you're at your lowest. God is still there. And that's what peace is. A verse that we love that reminds us of Jesus' peace is, John 14 27 peace I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid and I guess I would take what I would take from it is don't look fear in the eyes mm -hmm. and basically fear it mm -hmm. look fear in the eyes and say I'm not scared of you and say that there is somebody behind me that is bigger than you mm -hmm. and he is my father he is my best friend and that's what i would say that god is and that's what i would say that gives me peace <laughs>